107 up next. We're now at a pivotal moment. Communications are everything. Their whole tactic is to stop us from sharing information, to keep us from being seen and recognized by each other. They'd like us to dance and walk the way they want. But again, I say to their facial recognition systems, do you recognize this middle finger in front of my mask? Hello, yeah, we're all doing that at the same time. So you go ahead and try picking one of us out of the crowd. The last thing I'll mention is this. We have people looking at this electronic frontier with its spying into every aspect of our lives. This intrusion of government by remote control, artificial intelligence. It involves all aspects of the surveillance that they want to foist on us, to hold down chain and enslave us. As a three-letter agency outsider, the American writer John Perry Barlow, my friend, was a wonderful guy who could clearly see the future consequences from this Tholian web of technology being built for humankind and the technocracy these globalists are engineering for our enslavement. Barlow warned us about what was coming. We only have a moment left to pull ourselves back from the brink of the cliff. Please, Father God in heaven, protect our president, his family, and the families of those people who have taken a stand, drawn a line in the sand, and penned their names to paper, just as our founders did deciding to go up against monsters so that we have a country in which to live free. Up to this moment, we as individuals, a nation, and a whole planet of people are still captive to the evils of that Dallas day in 1963. America has been a captured operation that is still being held back from our dreams, our best hopes and aspirations. Since that day, America has been MK Ultra, trauma-induced and programmed state, which has been able to keep people from growing mentally and emotionally, even developmentally. We've been militarized in our development and diverted from a godly and wholesome path to a destructive one, both for ourselves and the rest of the world. Until justice is meted out in that 1963 matter, along with all the other mischief that has followed, we will not become the people, the nation and humanity that God intended for us. The scripture says, who will be valiant for justice sake? That is our prayer and our battle cry. And you can go to steeltruth.com on our homepage there and click to connect and pick up a copy of your book by 107, A Kid by the Side of the Road. Outstanding read. Juana is a fan favorite over here on Steel Truth and many YouTube channels.